everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi and this is my first video. <laughs> I am doing just a quick introductory video to tell you a little bit about myself and also about my channel. While I talk to you, I am going to be working on this beautiful diamond painting. This diamond painting is by Christopher Lavelle. It is called Solstice and it's from Diamond Art Club. It's way too big for my work surface in my craft room. And so I will insert a picture of what it looks like here. <laughs> I did know that it was quite a big canvas when I ordered it. However, I was just in awe of how beautiful it was and I really did not think about, you know, the logistics of it fitting on the surface in my <laughs> In my craft room so I don't know what I'm gonna do I have it like kind of rolled up right now I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes time to unfurl all the rest of this I might have to move out to my dining room table or something like that but anyway we'll see this is the first diamond art club painting I have ever purchased and so I'm very very excited about that I have been um, well, so I've been interested in diamond art painting since about 2018, and I actually bought my first diamond painting kit back then. Let me start working on this while I talk. Um, so, you know, I started working on, or I started um, buying diamond painting back in 2018. I actually just saw a kit kind of like on an end cap. <laughs> in Hobby Lobby and I could not even tell you what the brand of it was that I got back then. It was a partial. I really didn't know anything about diamond painting back then obviously and so when I got it home I was like a little bit disappointed because I opened it and I was like oh the whole thing is not diamonds it's just like a, a partial okay. So I worked on that and kind of put it away and then I, oops, I didn't go back to it after that. There was a lot of things going on. At that time we were moving, we were getting married and so I kind of did not go back to the diamond painting at that time, but it was always something that I thought was cool, you know. And so then I got back into it in 2020. Of course, we all know what happened in 2020. And I got back into it. Now, I did kind of a stupid thing where I ordered some diamond paintings from Amazon and I regret doing that now because I don't think they're really that great quality. You know, I guess it depends what you're buying on Amazon. You have to be careful. And then obviously there is the issue of licensed artwork. So on my channel, I will be doing diamond painting, obviously, but I intend to only showcase, um, you know, licensed artwork that I purchase from legitimate companies that sell licensed artwork. Um, so, you know, that being said, this is the first thing that I have purchased from Diamond Art Club, and I'm obsessed. I cannot believe the quality of it. You know, there's such a huge difference. Um, I would say it's definitely worth the money. It's the first square drill diamond painting that I've ever worked on. It's a little bit hard for me because I'm having a hard time with, you know, just the making sure the squares are actually lined up. I'm sure everybody can relate to that. <laughs> um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with Christopher Lavelle's artwork. And last night, so today is Halloween when I'm filming this. And last night, at midnight so I live in Ohio which is Eastern time so midnight Pacific time which was 3 a.m. Eastern time <laughs> um, Diamond Art Club had some new releases and a sale 
for Halloween, and one of the things that they had on their website was a mystery dark fantasy Christopher Lavelle, dim- like limited edition diamond painting. Did I set my alarm for 2.55 a.m. to get up to buy that? Ah, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> so I ordered that. Um, but they had a really great deal where you could get, it was buy two, get one 75% off. And so I ordered a bunch of stuff. I ordered two other pictures that I had on my wish list and then two other pens. I'm a pen and marker girl. And so that extends into diamond painting pens as well, of course. So I ordered two pens and three paintings. And then I have to stop. (laughs) I have to stop um, until, well, I need to get a Christmas painting, but I also ordered a couple, I have a couple of paintings coming from DIY Moon Shop that I'm excited about. And then that, and then that's it. I have to stop. (laughs) So I had to get a Christmas one. And then I have to stop. (laughs) Um, I, of course, you know, I have more than I can ever work on, honestly, but I'm sure everybody can relate to that as well. Um, So, my channel. My channel is called Cozy Lexi, and there is a reason for that. So, I, just a little backstory on me, um, I'm a nurse. And I actually am fortunate enough to work from home. I've been working from home since about 2017. Prior to that, I worked from home off and on. I would work sort of two or three days in the office and then the other days from home. And then 2017, I went to 100% remote. And I'm very fortunate. I love my job. I still get to be a nurse. I still get to use all of my nursing knowledge and skills. I still get to help people, but I get to do it from the comfort of my own home. I don't have to drive anywhere. Um, Yeah, it's just really nice. I'm kind of an introvert in a lot of ways, and so that's it's also beneficial for me to be at home. And That being said, my job is still very stressful. It is still very time consuming. I do work a lot of overtime. And because I work from home, I think that I take my own time and work-life balance for granted. Sometimes I forget to take care of my like self-care um just in terms of like my mental uh mental health and just stress levels just feeling at peace and you know relaxing unwinding things like that and so recently I have been on this kind of journey to really work on that and pay attention to that and setting boundaries as far as what I'm willing to do with my time and not do with my time, the type of energy that I'm allowing into my life and not allowing into my life. Um, So I'm just really paying attention to that kind of stuff. And so the reason that I have uh, decided to name my channel Cozy Lexi is because I really want to focus on self-care and things like meditation and stress relief and things that make me feel comfortable and relaxed and just really focusing on that work-life balance. So that's the, that's the reason for the name. (laughs) So you know, I'm right now I'm working on diamond painting and I think a lot of my content will be about diamond painting. This is a stress relief activity for me. I think a lot of people use it for that as well. 
but as I said, I, you know, I'm also into meditation, exploring my spirituality. I am doing yoga. I like to read. I like to be out in nature, go on walks and things like that. And so my channel will also feature things like that. And so that's, you know, that's the goal of my channel. And that's the purpose behind the name is just, it's going to be a cozy vibe. <laughs> all cozy things, all self-care things. So, um, I am married and I have two dogs that are just so cute. Uh, my husband is amazing. I'm kind of sliding these over because I'm not happy with how they're looking. Um, I have a husband who is just amazing, love of my life, never thought I would meet anybody that would be so perfect for me. <laughs> um, he is just so supportive, amazing, kind, wonderful person. We have two dogs who are adorable yet crazy. One of them is a German short hair pointer, and she is wild AF. <laughs> very hyper working dog. My husband is a hunter and so she is, you know, she is a working dog, but she's also a family dog. And we also have a golden retriever puppy who will also be um, a working dog too. Um, and his, so his name is Goose and then our girl dog, the uh, German short hair pointer, her name is Scout. And they're just the cutest dogs ever. So our uh, golden boy, Goose, he is about six months old. And huge, though. Like, he's growing so fast. I think he's going to be really big. But he's just the sweetest thing ever. Just so kind. Just kind little puppy. <laughs> it's so funny because I get them out in the morning. Um, first thing in the morning to let them out and Scout, the GSP, she is all business. She runs outside. First thing she has got to, well, you know, take care of business, but also she has to patrol the yard. She has to walk the perimeter. She has to make sure all is well out there. Goose, on the other hand, you know, he wants to have pets and cuddles first thing in the morning before he even goes outside and then he will go outside so like he will stop turn around look at me like hello pet me and then he'll go outside so just a very sweet boy so they're fun so when I am not doing crafts and yoga and meditation uh, I like to read um, we like to go on hikes, we like to go kayaking and that type of thing. My husband is a hunter and I've been a couple times with him. Oh, just got residue all over that. Um, I have been a couple times with him hunting, but it's not really my thing. Um, I can't stay quiet for that long and it's usually cold. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, that's me in a nutshell. I live probably a boring life compared to others, um, but I like it that way. So, um, yeah, I like to I like to be in nature. I like to read books. I like to play video games sometimes. I really love Nintendo and Animal Crossing and um, you know, cute games like that, like Stardew Valley. Uh, that's about it. I hope to do, you know, many more videos featuring diamond painting, but also my other interests as well. I want to do some hauls. I love like haul videos and just seeing what other people buy in relation to diamond painting, crafting, and all that good stuff. And so I want to do my own videos like that. I do plan on doing whip and chats, which is, you know, the work in progress videos for diamond painting. I do want to do some live streaming. Um, one of the 
big motivations behind wanting to do my own channel is I've been watching YouTube uh, for years and years and years. I mean, consistently since 2016. I mean, I think I've been watching YouTube since its inception, but consistently since 2016. And I just, there's so many different communities. I like the social part of it. And so I just felt like I wanted to join in too and you know, have my own channel and create something and, you know, maybe meet other people that have similar interests and just join in the fun. Look at that. All of these are wonky. I'm having a hard time with the squares. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to straighten all these out. I'm like so nervous working on this canvas, honestly, because um, it's just, I mean, it's so detailed. It's so gorgeous. It is squares. First time I've done square drills. And yeah. It's a lot, <laughs> but I like it. And I love diamond painting because, so, you know, I like a lot of different types of crafts. And one of the reasons that I really love diamond painting is that sometimes I get <laughs> anxiety about crafts or about making things because if it's not perfect, I get a little bit stressed out. And so, oh my goodness. So, I have, um, well, I have anxiety, but I also have this thing where I get really overwhelmed um, if, I, if I'm, like, overstimulated <laughs> by stuff. I get, like, really overwhelmed. And so, with work, at the end of the day, sometimes I just need to go and sit in a dark room for a while and chill out. And after work when I'm overstimulated like that, I can't really work on like a crochet project or, um, I like to do graphic design too. Like I can't really work on a graphic design project. It's a little bit too stressful for me because if it doesn't go right, I start to get just, it's just more stress, I guess. The diamond painting, however, it's a different vibe <laughs> because you're following this pattern and a lot of it is repetition especially when you're doing the color blocking like I'm doing right now like I'm doing this beautiful blue color and I'm not saying that it's just easy and that's why I like it it's not easy because actually I'm struggling with this right now <laughs> trying to get all these squares lined up but um it's something that I can, it's almost like meditation. It, it's something where it does take focus, but it doesn't take the same level of focus where if you were going to draw or crochet or do something like graphic design wise or like making jewelry, it's something where I can zone out just a little bit or I can do it while I'm watching TV or, you know, something like that and it really I think that's why so many people really like it for anxiety is it does it still scratches that part of your brain right where you're being creative you're making something with your hands and you're getting to enjoy the artwork of it and the creativity of it and it's beautiful but it doesn't stress you out like you know, trying to draw something, trying to crochet or knit something, trying to make a piece of jewelry. It's just different. And that's why I really like it. It's almost meditative, I guess. I don't know. I'm probably rambling at this point, <laughs> so I apologize. So. Oh, these are looking kind of wonky. I just got done this whole thing saying about how this is not stressful because But I'm, then I'm having trouble with these not being straight. But anyway. This is going to be beautiful. 
I'm very excited about the Christopher Lavelle mystery painting that I ordered. So when I get that, I will definitely do a video unboxing of it and the other two paintings that I ordered. Um, I did order one other painting along with this one when I made my purchase from Diamond Art Club and so I will do a video about that one as well. So yeah, so if you made it through this video, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I just rambled for so long. But thank you for watching and um, I should mention that, you know, I've been lurking kind of in the diamonds uh, painting community and watching channels for a long time. And so I watch everybody's like whipping chats and um, their hauls and things like that and I'm excited to maybe be a little bit more active <laughs> maybe actually uh, comment <laughs> and, and things like that like I said I am kind of introverted but um, it seems like a great community and so I need to be a little bit more outgoing probably <laughs> and say hi to some people instead of just lurking but yes Anyway, I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I didn't get very far, but anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.